we, we sort of sensed that there was an opportunity to create a new style of British chocolate um, and a brand that could stand for something that would be escapist and would be underpinned by some really strong um, rocks. So innovation, it would be creatively led with uh, not derivative of the French or the Belgians or the Swiss. It would be, you know, just genuine British creativity. We're really good at designing and making things. It would be authentic as well. It would be the real deal. And it would be uh, underpinned by a strong ethical um, belief and policy as well. I think this event at the Manchester Enterprise Centre is, is typical of um, how you can really energise young people who are perhaps thinking I've got this idea and maybe I should or maybe I shouldn't and hopefully by being um, put into contact with entrepreneurs who have actually you know, jumped over the edge and done it, it might uh, lift the veil a bit on the, the, on the mystique of how it happens. The only way you can run a business in the 21st century when things move so fast and you have to compete with the global uh, competitors and have global customers is to behave like an entrepreneur and run businesses like an entrepreneur. I think the events at Manchester Entrepreneur Centre are incredibly important for budding entrepreneurs because it's a, just an, an amazing opportunity to hear it from someone who's actually done it, to listen to their stories of how they started out, the, the, the pitfalls, the achievements. Uh, there's no substitute for actually hearing someone tell it to you. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant um, opportunity. It's not a case of writing the perfect business plan and then you know, sticking to it page by page and then magically you're a ma you know, massive success. It never ever works like that. And I think that's one of the things that sometimes people come out of business school thinking. Um, and I know that's why business schools are, are, are so active in trying to get real life entrepreneurs you know, married up with, with, if you like, academia to get the best of both worlds and get the balance there. How important is it to choose a good, a good name for people here? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen it both ways. I've seen it with a, a really sort of pedestrian brand that uh, we had before Hertha Schokla. And that's what it feels like a bit when you're trying to sail a boat and you've you know, got no wind in your sails and you're literally having to paddle every bit of the way yourself. When we created Hertha Schokla, suddenly we got wind in our sails and you know, that's the power of a great brand. So if you can possibly think of a strong brand, let me tell you, it gives you a massive lift compared to a weak brand. And that doesn't need to be in a consumer business, by the way, it can be in any sphere. Um, having a strong brand is, is, is I've just come to realise, is, is almost a prerequisite for having the strongest business, business possible in your sector. The main things that I've learned over the years in being an entrepreneur are, one, um, to be relentless, you, you'll have a lot of knockdowns and you'll have to keep picking yourself up again and again and again. Um, and you know, that's, that's a key attribute of success. Looking from the outside, people always think that it's easy, but lift the lid up and there's a million stories of why it wasn't, but eventually you get there. This second thing I've really learned is to be prepared to adapt my ideas. That it's very rare that you get it right first time and you have to keep working at it and um, slightly changing the ideas, adapting them, morphing them, and it's still the same idea, but as more information comes in, be ready to adapt. How important do you think has innovation been to, to driving the business forward? Is it just a nice, fun thing to do, or is it very intrinsically important to it? For our particular brand, <clears throat> it's really much, in, it's very much in our DNA. Um, I think in, in, in terms of future-proofing what you're doing and making sure that what you invest in is properly long-term and not just a, a short-term, you know, derivative idea. You know, we, we like to break new ground. Um, now that means that we've made some, some mistakes along the way and things that we've then subsequently, you know, turned off. But, that, but the ones and then in the majority that have made it through um, are ahead of, the, ahead of the competitors, they disturb the market. Um, and they're protectable. My um, two top tips for entrepreneurs are one, just do it, and second, find interesting ways to do it, which are beyond the ordinary and beyond the orthodox way.